Salut tout le monde, c'est Faredge et bienvenue sur cette vidéo détente sur Minecraft Story Mode. Un jeu qui m'a été gracieusement offert par le site Games Planet. Mon partenaire, Games Planet, un site sur lequel vous pouvez trouver tous vos jeux PC à prix réduit. Je vous invite grandement à aller jeter un œil en cliquant sur le petit lien en bas à droite de votre écran ou en cliquant directement sur le lien présent dans la description. Alors c'est parti, aujourd'hui nous allons tester ce jeu qui est sorti donc tout récemment, hein, le mode histoire de Minecraft. Donc un jeu qui, si je ne me trompe pas, a été fait par Telltale Game. Donc tous ceux qui font les Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, euh, euh, enfin tous les jeux comme ça, les point and click quoi. Et ben, on va voir ce que ça donne. On va voir ce que ça donne. Donc je vais essayer de faire une vidéo euh, suffisamment longue pour englober un maximum de choses qui va nous permettre d'avoir un avis sur le jeu. Sans pour autant que ce soit une vidéo qui va durer des heures, bien entendu. Alors, jouer compte un hein, paramètre, je vérifie juste que tout est ok. Audio, vidéo, tac, 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 ouais. Graphisme, élevé, anti-aliasing, plein écran. Ok. Eh bien, écoutez, euh, sur ce, hein, on va voir ces petits bonhommes construire et on va jouer directement. Choisissez votre apparence. <rire> oh yeah. <rire> Euh, il me fait rire celui-là, il est un peu à la Super Mario, on va prendre celui-là, allez. L'ordre de la pierre. Commencez l'épisode 1, c'est parti Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies? Or ten zombie-sized chickens. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. It's just a hypothetical question, Jesse. Ouais, mais so, était bizarre, ta I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know... Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Well, both of you are. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. 
I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? On n'a pas beaucoup de temps pour répondre. It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Do you hear that? Oh no. On n'a pas beaucoup de temps pour répondre, c'est assez chaud ça. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Ruben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. She <laughs> <laughs> looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Okay. Alors déjà de ce qu'on a pu voir. Bon, je trouve qu'on n'a pas énormément de temps pour répondre parce que le temps qu'on lise les questions, il y a déjà la moitié de la barre qui est coulée, mais bon, pourquoi pas alors, donc, maintenez shift pour marcher plus vite Ouais, et je me déplace comme ceci Ah, les commandes, attendez Les commandes sont en QWERTY On va juste corriger ça Paramètres, voilà euh... Ah, je, je peux pas les modifier <rire> c'est pas mal ça WASD, ouais, mais les commandes sont en QWERTY là Sérieusement, on peut pas, mo on peut pas modifier les commandes Inversion, style d'affichage standard. Bah. Ah, bah, ça c'est pas mal, tiens, on peut pas modifier les commandes. Bon. Donc voilà un autre point plutôt négatif. On peut pas modifier les commandes. Donc, alors il va falloir que je trouve. Là, on recule, là, on va à droite. Euh. Ouais, oh putain, ça va, ça va être sympa ça. Donc là, j'avance, là, je recule. Bon, on va essayer de jouer avec un clavier en QWERTY. Hein. Je vous garantis pas que ce soit génial, hein. À moins qu'on puisse jouer avec une manette. On va voir ça. Ouais, on peut jouer avec la manette. Bon, ça va. Mais niveau clavier, c'est pas terrible. Hein. Si on peut même pas euh, modifier le... les commandes, ça c'est pas terrible. Ok, j'ai des cisailles, j'ai une épée, très bien. Je vois pas trop à quoi ça va me servir pour l'instant, mais. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Ok. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. Les briquets. Très bien, on a le briquet, on a les cisailles, on a l'épée, on a le cochon. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Bon, ben je crois qu'on a tout alors. Give me a dragon war, Ruben. That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Enercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa! What's part two? 
Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? <laughs> huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry to win, to win. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Creeper or Enderman? And again, you scared the crap out of us with Creepers. No, an Enderman. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, Olivia's thing. Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. <laughs> prepare. Vous imaginez si on faisait comme ça dans la vraie vie, n'empêche. building we've got all the stuff for it we are so ready this year it's going to be different i'm not just ready to build i'm ready to win nice pig losers <laughs> oh great there's lucas and the ocelots the rivalry continues man they've got matching leather jackets and everything so cool well 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 if it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. C'était normal ou c'est un problème de traduction là? Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. On est l'ordre du cochon, les losers de l'Ender, les amis très fonds. We are the Dead Enders? Whoa, sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders, you guys are in booth five. 
Alors, allons fouiller un peu. Hmm. Nope. Non Bon, alors on fouille pas. Box 1, box, box 3. Est-ce que je peux parler à Messi Messi Dame Man, it's crowded. Bon, alors box 5. Is that a freaking beacon They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. <laughs> What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got... a mascot. <laughs> We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Huh. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friends some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying... It's possible to be nice and win. Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon building competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet in person Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelot! Ocelot! Oh, Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. <clears throat> we'll just make one up. Okay. We'll call it the. Le uh, salut du bâtisseur, la pointe de l'anki kidder, le coup de la resto, la main du gars, la main du gars. The warrior whip. <coughs> And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Personne ne se souviendra de ça. Oh, bah, dis donc. And everything will be fine. This year, the dead enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Allez. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. The moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. 
Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no! Ruben's on fire! Ruben! No! Come back! It was Aiden that part. The lava's getting closer. We're gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. Hey, restez ici et protégez la machine. Moi, je vais sauver Ruben. We've got to cover Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Uh-huh. Ruben, where are you? Hey, Ruben. Alors il fait nuit, ce qui veut dire que potentiellement on va se faire attaquer par des mobs normalement. Just oink if you can hear me. He must have run by here. Ruben, where are you, buddy? Hmm, doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Ruben started this. Mm hmm. Ruben, are you in there? J'ai pas l'impression. Stupid pigs. Ruben? Ruben? Donc je regarde Ruben? partout, on sait jamais hein. No, not you guys. Pigs. All pigs but Ruben. Shut up. Proche d'une grotte, hein. Ruben. Ah. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no. You in there, buddy? Oh jeez. Please don't be toasted, Ruben. Mon épée va m'être utile d'un coup. J'aimerais bien voir une phase où on rencontre des ennemis pour voir comment ça se passe, mais. Whoa! 
J'avais pas vu la flèche, on s'était un peu juste là. D'accord. LTRT. D'accord, donc les phases de combat sont quand même. Euh... C'est nous qui les faisons, donc ça c'est pas mal. Ah, pas mal, pas mal. Bon, c'est des QTE, hein, mais c'est sympa. C'est sympa. Oh, je sens que l'épée va se casser. Et voilà. Stupid wooden sword. I know it's bad. I'll think of something. Je vais les occuper. Reste près de moi, je vous reviens. Non, reste près de moi. On ne sait jamais ce qui va se passer si tu t'éloignes. Don't leave that spot. No matter what. You hear me? Attention Out of the open. Not that this isn't a really cool dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? No, oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. A <laughs> gem Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. The guy you got the skull for. What's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean... I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. What's in it for me? Respect, admiration, not getting punched in the face for saying that just now. <laughs> You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Alors, voyons ça. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Here we go. Jackpot. Alors. Just place the pieces on the table. D'accord, donc c'est vraiment du crafting euh, pur et dur. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won! 
The Enderman was the right way to go. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy <laughs> like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Haha. <laughs> Oh, we dead. Creepers. Uh, Crap. Huh. Also, that look. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Uh, no, là, il vaut mieux sauter, right. je pense. Let's jump. Dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben, what happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jessie's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jessie. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time and need paid off yet again. Our Enderman is so lifelike, I don't even want to glance at it. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks <laughs> in there. Somewhere. I'm proud of you guys. Ah, oh, shucks. Don't make me blush. Seriously. Don't. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right. The thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, 
I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay? I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? Oh, le mec! On dirait Rasputin. The names. On dirait Rasputin dans Anastasia, quoi. I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well, I'm a very busy man. I'm with Petra. My deal is with her, not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? Petra has it and she'll be back any minute now. Well... As long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Mm -hmm. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us. You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it, you've earned it. Je pense que tu te fais arnaquer, hein. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Let's go after him. Yep, let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or... You'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Très bien. Alors, écoutez, on va s'arrêter là pour cette vidéo test. Je pense qu'on a fait le tour. De, euh, de ce que nous pouvions voir dans le jeu Au niveau des graphismes Bon bah c'est du Minecraft C'est cubique C'est... Bon après euh, Ça je dirais qu'on aime ou on n'aime pas Mais les animations sont relativement bien faites Donc pourquoi pas Le scénario bah... Alors On n'a pas vu... Oh, le scénario il est difficile de, de parler du scénario sans avoir fini le jeu Mais de ce qu'on a vu ça a l'air plutôt accrocheur. Maintenant, le fait que nous soyons dans un environnement cubique fait que peut-être personnellement j'accroche un peu moins et ça peut en rebuter certains par rapport à d'autres jeux euh, Telltale Games qui ont des graphismes un peu différents. Mais à mon avis, le scénario peut être très sympathique pour peu qu'on s'y accroche un petit peu. Le gameplay est efficace, on a vu donc le choix, alors peut-être les petits bémols que j'avais signalés, les dialogues qui passent trop vite, le fait qu'on puisse pas changer les commandes si on joue avec un clavier... Bon, c'est comme ça, mais avec la manette ça passe très bien, les interactions sont, sont simples, c'est pas très compliqué, les combats sont dynamiques, il y a même des phases de crafting qui sont plutôt sympathiques. La musique est sympa, c'est à chaque fois dynamique, c'est très dynamique même, mais je dirais qu'en soi ça colle plutôt bien avec l'univers Minecraft et ça casse un peu ces musiques toutes douces, toutes calmes, toutes instrumentales qu'on avait l'habitude d'avoir en jouant en Minecraft. Donc voilà, pour l'instant si je devais lui mettre une note, je pense que je tournerais aux alentours de 15. 15, peut-être plus, peut-être moins, à voir par la suite, en tout cas j'espère que ça vous aura plu, euh, deux choses, si le jeu euh, vous intéresse, si ça vous a plu, si vous voulez connaître la suite, n'hésitez pas à m'en faire part en commentaire et éventuellement je pourrais vous, euh, bah vous faire d'autres vidéos dessus, vous voir vous faire un let's play, à vous de me le dire si vous avez aimé ou pas, si vous voulez vraiment voir la suite, éventuellement je le ferai. 
Et si le jeu vous a plu, n'hésitez pas à vous rendre sur Games Planet. Donc encore une fois, en cliquant en bas à droite ou en cliquant sur le, le lien dans la description, vous pourrez le trouver en promotion. Hein. Actuellement, il était en promotion, donc euh, n'hésitez pas. Et puis n'hésitez pas de façon générale à aller faire un tour sur le site. Vous trouverez, des, euh, je pense, votre bonheur. Et voilà, sur ce, je vous dis, laissez un petit pouce bleu et rendez-vous très bientôt. Salut tout le monde